and similarly louche places. <laughs> Jeremy, I must tell you, I was in Venice last year. Ah, oh, la serenissima. <laughs> now, you, I believe, know more about Venice than anybody else in the world. The Queen of the Adriatic is just one of the things you've been called. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, strolling through the Rialto. Uh, returning from a walk which had taken in the Santa Maria della Salute and the San Giorgio Romano. Along the Giudecca. Along the Giudecca. <laughs> yes. And uh, I believe I'm right in saying that I counted no less than 97 backpackers. Backpackers? Oh, oh dear Lord. Who were uh, doing, as I believe the ghastly phrase is, the academia. Oh, 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 oh. tourists, you see, tourists. Oh. Uh, 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 and I remember thinking <laughs> they're taking away Ah, Venice. The place is absolutely heaving with Germans. Yes, and Italians. The place is absolutely heaving. Ah, <laughs> uh, Venice is sinking under their weight. Well, you see, I campaigned for years now to have tourists banned from Venice. Have you? Have you? Yes, I have. I have, yes. <laughs> it, it, it sounds very cruel, very harsh, I know. Very, um... Deglante? Uh, very deglante, thank you, yes. Yes, but I'm convinced it's the only way. Mm, 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 mm. Who is it? Who is it, who is it? He is a tourist. You are a holiday maker, but I am a traveler. Oh, <laughs> now, was it Humbert Wolf? It was Cocteau, surely. Well, it doesn't sound very Cocteau. Uh, but then Cocteau never does, which is how you can always tell it. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Truché. <laughs> 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 of course, it's not just Venice. Oh, good heavens, no. No, it's not just uh, Venezia. Yeah, Venedig. Uh, Venice. No, not that. Not <laughs> Obviously. No, our whole world is being stained. 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 Yes. Stained. Yes, it is. Stained. It is. Echu fugaces o tempora o mores, Jeremy. Uh, yes. <laughs> I blame television. I'm oh. sorry, but I do. Oh no, television! No, don't. P please, that. F oh, that fearful. Um, uh, Mervyn Bragg. Oh, Mervyn Bragg! Stop it at once! Uh, oh, if I had my way with that Mervyn Bragg, no one would be in the least surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lemon pie, dear. Yes, yes. Um, I've always said, you know, that I could never truly be friends with anybody who didn't love lemon pie. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Susan. Now, Susan, don't be sly. Did you make this yourself? Well, let's just say I made it to the shops in time to buy it. I knew it! Marks and Spencer! M&S! Yes. Who else? M&S! M&S! In the A.S. Some you showed Oh, they are simply amazing. Oh, them. yeah, have you tried their new boxer shorts? I haven't. I haven't. I have. Delicious. Oh, no, and the dips. Oh, oh. bless me, the dips. In yes. my local one, there's a really marvellous primary school. A primary school? Yes. Both <laughs> mine and my husband's children go there. Well, of course, in my local one, they've just opened a hospital section. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, you can go in and have my operations, everything. Yeah, it's one of the one near me. You can actually buy weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, it is quite right. Mine yes. too. Yes, I actually, uh, I bought an F-111 there last week. <laughs> it was so fresh, I swear it was made that day. Really, really, but well, it's because the great thing about them is that if you're not happy with anything, you can always go back and change it. Uh, change it oh. Hello. Ah, oh, good morning, madam. Can I help you? I bought these suits for my husband, you see, and I want to return them, please. Right. You want to exchange them for different suits? Oh, no. I don't want different suits. That wouldn't be any good. Not now he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, this is the suit he died in. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think you can tell, can you? I think I've managed to get most of it out. <laughs> and uh, when exactly did you buy 1947. <laughs> I remember the year, because that was the year I bought his suits. <laughs> See, yes, and uh, uh, you want a refund, do you? Refund? Oh, no, 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 I don't want a refund. No, I want my money back. <laughs> I see. Uh, uh, well, have you got the receipt? No, but the lady will remember me. <laughs> what lady? Well, the lady who sold them to me, of course. Mm. Well, can you remember what she looked like? Oh, well, she was about uh, 65. And... <laughs> well, I'm afraid that if she was 
65 in 1947, she'd be... <laughs> Soups fit your husband all right, didn't it? Oh, yes, thank you. And did you enjoy your tea at Lion's Corner House? Oh, it was lovely, oh. thank you. He looked so handsome in his uniform. Uh. Still together, are you? Forty-three years. Forty-three years. Since he last rang me. <laughs> oh, they're bastards, aren't they? <laughs> can't live with them, can't live without them. Mine can't live at all. <laughs> You'll be wanting your money back. Oh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I put it by, just in case. <laughs> you are. You are a good girl. Three pounds. Twelve and six. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, perhaps the lady would like a replacement. No, I told you I wanted my money back. He means for your husband. <gasps> oh, goodness. <laughs> do you do old men? <laughs> What size do you take? <laughs> five foot six, if you have. Five foot six straight or five foot six bent? Bent. I see what we've got. Yes, you'll like her, old men, madam. They don't smell at all. Oh. Well, they've got a sort of stale, manly odour. Oh. <laughs> tell until you get them home. <laughs> Can I change him if I'm not satisfied? Bloody women. They always want to change you. <laughs> what makes me really mad is this new drug ecstasy. Makes me mad! Because, you know, even I struggle remembering that. Well, I did that, Steve, but I got her in the end. Well done to you. What do you do, Paul? Thank you for sparing the time. No problem. You admire Gary Davis? <laughs> Keep a fingers crossed until you have a brilliant thing. 1990. You should make time, you Alan. Have a nice little radio one man should radio. unwind. Wonderful. You don't mind if I call you Alan? Fine with me. Good, good. I just find Sally a bit awkward. <laughs> I understand. Excellent. Now then, Alan, I've got your record in front of me here, and it makes impressive reading. Well, you know, I've knocked about the world a bit. <laughs> you certainly have, but I'd like if I made a fill in one or two gaps, take a few side bearings, rough out some contours. Is that okay with you? Fine. Okay, 65, 66. You ran guns out of Macau using a refitted Dutch trawler. Still smell those damn herring. Sixty-eight, you popped up on the Ivory Coast, smuggling refugees out of Nigeria. The following year, there was that nasty caper with the Rhodesian Mining Company. From then on, it's a series of apparently unrelated appearances, working with Uruguayan customs, a supply teacher in Maidstone, <laughs> spraying in Rawalpindi, Home Secretary in the last Labour government, and then a short spell as Nigel Pargeter in the Archers. Someone had to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now it's my turn, yeah? I gotta tell you that I don't like being rung up by strange men I've never met before and I have files read out of me. I don't like being asked a lot of questions by men in hats. Suppose you tell me exactly what is going on and who in blazes you are. All right. We need a man, Alan. We need a man with exceptional abilities, a man with a record of success against all the odds, a man with the courage to try his hand at the impossible. Go on. We want you, if you can, to sit down and watch an entire episode of The Krypton Factor. <laughs> oh, <never mind. laughs> Listen to me, Alan. It's never been done before. No one has ever watched an entire program from start to finish. Oh, sure, we've all seen bits. 
No one has ever gone the full distance. <laughs> if I don't make it, you'll see that Judy's taken care of. Of course. Of course. I'll see you in hell.